I hope we don't see it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. So, um, today I'm coming on to open this this package that has been um, sent. I've just removed all the um, outer packaging with addresses and things like that on. And I know um, from previously that this person um, doesn't like to be named. Um, as somebody who's sent a gift um, other than to use a name that they use on social media, which is Moon Whisper. Um, and I think I know what this is because, um, well, whether I do or don't, <laughs> um, whatever it is, is just gonna be so lovely because this person um, each year, look how beautiful that is, has sent me something on or around my birthday um, and some amazing um, gifts and is generous to almost the point of, you know, just, let's just say her generosity knows no bounds. She is so kind and thoughtful. And she, she sent this beautiful card, look, the moon. I'm not going to, because it will have her name in here. Yeah, it does. Um, so she's put just because gift, a uh, just because gift for a very early birthday gift for you. Enjoy the wonderful, quirky little tales that go with the cards. I do know what this is. I did not have the original box as I have had this deck for quite a while before I knew about the, uh, before she knew about the deck becoming out of print. I've gifted many decks in the past that are now out of print. I'm glad to share this deck with you, knowing you'll appreciate it and it'll be cared for. Um, as always, thank you for all that you bring to our special tarot community. Lots of love. And then from that wonderful, wonderful soul. So um, this deck, which I believe it is, is a deck that I have wanted for so long um it is out of print and it does you know fetch ridiculous amounts really um as out of print decks do um but she reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and said um because i was tr in the process of trading for this deck or looking to trade for this deck and she contacted me and said um stop trading on any decks that you're trading for um because i've just sent you um a gift which which is incredible wow it feels quite quite heavy oh my goodness so it's the book as well Oh, what's this? Oh, wow. Look at this. It's a hermit t-shirt. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. I don't have a hermit t-shirt, would you believe? Wow. I just thought this was packaging. Oh, this is so lovely so lovely thank you so much and the quality and thickness of the material is gorgeous oh wow and there's some incense as well so this is bombay amber the vajra i think i've had vajra before and this person may have sent me um vajra before okay so Oh, it is. So it's the Fairy Tale Tarot by Baba Studios um, with the book by Karen Mahoney. And I am so. I'm, I'm speechless because I know how much this deck fetches 
I've seen people who have um, who have bought it. My friend Jen bought it, and the hens bought it. Um, oh look, and it's even got a bag, and the, the bags are beautiful. Look how lovely um, that is. It's really, really gorgeous. Let's have a proper look at it. Just beautiful, really beautiful. Oh, wow. And we all know just how incredible Baba Studios decks are. They're just gorgeous. Oh, look at these. So what you get here is the beautiful colour illustration. You get the title for the, the tarot card and then the fairy tale uh, that it links with. And these are just so beautiful. Look at the colours. They're so rich and vibrant. This is the Empress and it's Cinderella. It's even more beautiful in real life seeing it the the yellow of this outfit you know this clothing this gown is so vibrant i want to make sure there's no glare and that you're you're seeing these i'm going to bring them closer up to the camera actually because i don't want there to be a glare from the light let's have a sup of coffee so here we have the four, the poor Miller boy, the poor Miller's boy, and the little cat. And it's the usual Baba Studios cardstock, which has that. Um, they always feel a little bit thin, but they have that core, that special core within them that gives it that durability. The magician, the storyteller, at fault. Can you see? I hope it's coming out because it's always more crystal clear when recording. But then when you upload to YouTube, um, because I film in 4K, it doesn't always give you that option when you go through um, iMovies. But the clarity of these images and the colours, I'm so going to miss Baba Studios when they stop making decks in a couple of years time after the baroque bohemian cats tarot revival the lovers is tatterhood the snow queen for the chariot strength is beauty and the beast isn't that just gorgeous and I brought the inner child cards when I was away in Glastonbury because I never thought I would get this deck. I just thought, well, it's one deck that I just won't be able to, to get. Um, the Hermit is Bearskin. And this same, this same kind, generous person two years ago um, for my birthday then sent me the Alice Tarot special edition in the wooden box when that was out of print before they relaunched um, the second edition Alice. The Hanged Man is the Shifty Lad. Death is Godfather Death. Let's look at that image. So beautiful. The Red Shoes for the Devil. Deirdre of the Sorrows for the Tower. Stars from the Fairy of the Dawn. The Nixie. The Sun Child. Beautiful. Just look. Look at the intricate borders. Snow White. The seven dwarves there, Prince Charming, Many Fur. Ah, oh, the Ugly Duckling, Hans Christian Andersen. Two of Cups 
is Thumbelina. Three of Cups, the Three Princes. So well paired. The boy who wants to learn fear. These are in mint condition. The Haunted Cellar. Hansel and Gretel. I even wrote, <laughs> I wrote Karen at uh, Baba Studios and, and said to her, look, any, any chance you're going to bring this deck back? It's one that I really, really want. And it was a couple of months ago and she said to me, no, unfortunately, it's not very likely because they're moving away from tarot. They've got a fortune telling deck that they're bringing out. And then there is the pre-orders to fulfill for the Fantastic Menagerie, which I've pre-ordered. And then it'll be the Baroque Bohemian Cats. Knight of Cups is the Enchanted Horse. The Prince and the Tortoise. Just look how beautiful they're illustrated and the rich colors. Jack and the Beanstalk. That was one of my favourite childhood tales. I love Jack and the Beanstalk. I was actually, <laughs> I was actually, the first time I ever acted on stage was at junior school. So I'd be about nine or ten. And I, it was Jack and the Beanstalk and I played the giant. Oh, I love this. Look at this scene here. The story of Kintaro, the golden boy. Just look. The Emperor's New Clothes. The Wolf and the Seven Little Kids. So beautiful. The Sorcerer's Apprentice, not the Mickey Mouse version, Fantasia. And it's lovely that there's fairy tales from around the world as well. Kip the Magic Cat. The man who had to mind the house. Oh, the golden goose. The brave little tailor. Look at the expressions. Oh, I adore this deck even more than Elves and the Shoemaker. I used to love that story. Yeah, I just love it even more in real life. The, the cards are just beautiful. I just hope the clarity is good enough when this is uploaded for you to just see the intricate details and the beautiful colours. It's quite breathtaking. Yo Kong and the Demon. Excuse the sirens. Nightingale and the Rose. Here we have the Sleeping Beauty. The Spinning Wheel. Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, my dear. Oh, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. Little Mermaid. Bluebeard. Rumpusstiltskin. <laughs> these take me back. I used to have all these Ladybird books in the 70s and the Maiden King. 
Wow. I am so, so blown away and so humbled by this beautiful, kind gift. Look at the backs, aren't they gorgeous? And the book, I mean, I've got quite a few now. Um, looking at my, my books here, Baba books. I've got Victorian Romantic, Mythical Creatures, um, Tower of Prague and Alice Tarot. Um, I didn't get one for Bohemian Gothic um, because that was the first Baba deck I ever got. And back then I didn't know what the quality were like or anything like that. But now I've got the Fairy Tale Tarot as well, which is just wonderful. So it gives you a really good um, retelling of the story, really. So we've got the Ugly Duckling here. It's just the one I've opened up Hans Anderson Hans Anderson on a lovely summer day a duck was sitting in the sun so you get the story and then you get your keyword and phrases and then how the story relates to the card so the ugly duckling is a very simple little story that has great resonance over the years it's become widely known and loved so it's really lovely so I'm really looking forward to uh to reading this and working with this deck so thank you thank you once again and i love i love everything that you've that you've sent and yes thank you for the incense too and the t-shirt wow you really are a lovely lovely soul i really hope it is my hope that i get to meet you i know friends of mine have met you and they they tell me how lovely you are so I really hope that one day I get to meet you as well so that I can thank you in person. Thank you for watching, everybody. Is this a deck that you have in your collection? Tell me your thoughts. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just blown away. So thank you. And until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be. Thank you.